Is he there moving the cones? No, post win it. Go that way, little. Bro, if I cut my rims. Hey Kilo, move the cones. Wait, 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 let me move the cones. Oh, man said wait, you know, like I was gonna look offside. Oh my days. You should just run Keith for, for the best YouTube video ever. Slamming. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh, dead. Love, 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 loving to no, drive yeah, off with van, drive off, drive off, drive off, drive off. What are you? Going up. So right now, we're going to see some of the property gurus. Some of the best young niggas doing it in the property game right now. I don't know if they want people to know that they're doing properly though, that's the question. So maybe we just go beep beep and then they don't even realise what they're doing. So we just dropped off the mandem. Oh a kilo anyway. Now we need to go to the car wash and then we're going to the spot to film. We'll be interested to see if we actually get this video today. Open sesame, thank you. <laughs> Narrative. Woo! I what do you want to see a wrist real quick? Do you want to see a Urus real quick, yeah, YouTube? Let's go see a Urus. Let's go see one. Quickly, yeah? Yeah, very quickly. Very quickly, very quickly, very quickly. Hey, look, I need to cut this out quick. It's going to be even. Oh, it's not there. It's not there. It's not there. I thought it was going to be here. I thought it was going to be here. Oh, it's going to be that quick? Yeah, I thought it was there. But the rose is here, though. The double R. It's either the rose or the Urus. One of the two is always here. One of the two is always here. I need to network with the guy that's, that's parking them. He parks off his Urus. And jumps into the rows and vice versa, my nigga. Oh, but look how big it is. I'm sorry, yeah. Look at this golf, golf R. Yeah. Yeah, reverse a little bit. So we that is a golf R, yeah. Look how big that is in comparison to the golf R, bro. You know. Outside, yeah. Sweet, bro. Without VAT. Yeah, card, yeah. Uh, don't make me famous, yeah. No, no, no you can course, be famous. Course. <laughs> no worries. Close the window. Yeah. Start in a minute. I gotta go pay for this, shit, my nigga. So now. We're gonna actually go and do the video of the car. So. That's the first time it's ever brought traction. I know you lot felt that. I, I thought that was. Um, you see what the wet does to you? I thought it was a pothole. Nah, cuz that shit broke traction, but all four rims. That's mad. Yeah, so we're gonna go get the video now. Um, so hopefully, you lot like the car. So, what you lot think? More videos coming, fresh content. It's gonna be sick man, so make sure you like, stay engaged, subscribe for some more content. Anyway, your boy got a new whip and Tay Lizzie has already showed you. You lot saw me go to collect it, but I didn't show you much, I done that on purpose. Um, and to be fair, I was kind of flabbergasted with everything going on at that time, innit? So, today, 
we're gonna look through it, talk you lot through the car a little bit and go from there really. Um, Taylor's done a mad thing behind the camera. So make sure you like and subscribe for Taylor alone because the, oh, the edits are crazy, the edits are crazy. But, here it is people. The C43 AMG 2017 plate and we have got it in a Mercedes-Benz special paint. So I was gonna get a standard paint, you know what I'm saying? But I was like, mm -mm, nah, big one. I wanted to get something that had a little bit of flavor. So you've got the Designo Magno Grey is the paint. That's a satin grey paint supplied from Mercedes. You'd probably think this is a wrap. It's not a wrap, it's paint. Um, now this car, Brazy, I've done my first drive, all of that. First drive video to come, make sure you stay tuned. Engine, three litre V6. It's got about 362 horsepower to it and about 384 newton meters of torque. It's got the V6 bi turbo begin. Yeah, the bi turbo, the bi turbo. <laughs> and that means that we're also getting the formatic. Formatic is Mercedes version of Audi's Quattro, it's the four wheel drive system, all four wheels drive. Um, it's weird because I think the configuration or the, the bias setup is like 60%, 40%. So I think you get 60% like being driven through the back wheels, 40% um, driven through the front wheels. And I think when it loses traction, it can, it can send power where it needs to send power to. Don't, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, you don't know what's going on. Car is brazy. If you come down here, we're gonna take a look at the rims. We've got, first of all, don't even take a look at the rims. Forget the rims. We've got the, the tires. We've got the Conti Sports, the Continentals. I'm telling you lot, this tire is gripping. I've heard that the Contis are one of the best tires for the four-wheel drive cars. Um, I know that the Michelins are also sweet Pilot Sport 4s. Maybe we'll get some of those on, the, on, the, on this car at some point in the channel. Um, and also the Pirellis. But that's just starting to get out of the budget a little bit. We've got the lovely 19 inch um, multi spoke. It's not, it's not multi spoke, it's twin spoke. Those are not multi spokes. This is a twin spoke. Um, twin spoke rims from Mercedes, AMG, brake pads, and discs, which are just looking crazy. Let's come around to the back. We're going to jump in the interior after. Let's come around to the back and just have a look. So, obviously, we've got C43 AMG. We've got the rear diffuser here. Um, what do you not think of the rear diffuser? In terms of the color, all that sort of stuff. And the exhaust packs, what do you not think? I know you not know already that there's a lot of full processes and a lot of thinking going in my brain. A lot of things that could change, but right now I like the car as it is. I don't think much is gonna change instantly. We've got the RJ17 plate on there. We have got the Y23, let me show you lot that. You might wanna put that on the car as well. Um, but yeah, so this is the back. Interesting feature about the whip. Let me show you. One second. Oh, this isn't my car key. Coffee might not be in my bag, that's how deep it is. You got my car key? I got it in my pocket, I got my pocket. Nah me, nah me, nah me. Taylor's laughing at me behind the camera. <laughs> Alright, there. Interesting feature. Alright, right then. Right. This is not how things are meant to go, you know. It's not meant to work like this. <laughs> it's not meant to work. Wait there, wait there, wait there. That's the interesting feature. So the boot can't be opened from the back at all. No button, no nothing. You have to use the key, which clearly don't work. Um, you've got a latch in the inside, interior. You will see that when we go in a second. And then we've got, yeah, this is how we close it. We've got a button here, you can lock it here. Um, and shut here, so boom. No manual intervention around here, baby. Um, so tell it, if you follow around that side, let's jump into the interior. Before we even move in, you got the AMG on the pan down at the bottom. You see that, Tay Lizzie? Yes, sir, we see yes, that. Yes, sir, ski. I don't want to talk just in case that car's too loud, but it don't sound it. Um, so I feel like I decided to try and get a more, one second. It's a Ferrari. Aye, aye, aye. Camera, Ferrari. Forget this car. Forget it. Forget it. Come, 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 come,
odds, 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 odds. just had a fantastic conversation with the owner um, if you watch this video thank you so much for your time we appreciate it the knowledge everything that you just said to us is crazy he came and took a look around this car as well and he liked it but yeah thank you very much for your time um, if you're watching this video back to the review guys I'm gonna use the, 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 the vocabulary that the owner of the Ferrari said he called the interior and the car sophisticated that's the reason why I decided to go with the brown interior. If you know me, I'm a Travis Scott man as well, so I was thinking Travis Scott flow, <laughs> gang gang. But um, the brown interior is a lot more sophisticated with the grey on the outside, the uh, Desiglio Magno grey. Um, so yeah man, I'm a bit speechless after that convo, but let's just jump in. Um, so, we jump in and we've got upgraded infotainment um, system here. So this is the big screen. Um, if you come and have a look here, we've got the Burma Star, the Burma Star sound system, which is, I'm telling you, I had the standard Mercedes-Benz speakers in the A-Class, and I actually thought, you know what, these are good, like, they're good speakers for A-Class. The Burma Stars are way better, the sound clarity is way better. Um, I think they lack a bit of bass, personally, I think the bass could boot a little bit more, but the clarity is top. Um, we've got the wood pan design in the middle. Again, I wanted something a bit more classy and sophisticated. Um, typically, you have the black piano in here. I didn't like the black piano. It's too, too standard. Everyone has it. Um, and then you have the carbon fiber. Now, if you can find the carbon fiber one, you're, you're laughing, but they're very hard to find. Um, so, yeah, um, we've got obviously the memory foam seats up here, guys. So, the memory foam seats to help move and, and everything. And then, of course, I've got the button down here to open up the boot um, and close the boot. So, he says, um, and then of course, lastly, Panamaric roof. Can't forget the Panamaric roof if this turns on. Um, so yeah, this opens as well. So what I do like is, if I just go like this. So when you look at the infotainment system now, forgot to also mention, sorry, so we've got the beautiful Mercedes clock here. Um, if you really want it, you can get an IWC clock, I think I did in, which is a, a big expense, but yeah, it's, uh, it doesn't make a huge difference. Um, so yeah, as I said, I'm gonna, Oh, it doesn't come up now because it. Right, let's let's do it like this. If I go like that and I turn it back on. Okay, it's not gonna work now. Um, but yeah, it comes up the AMG dash and stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm happy. So let's put it into dynamic. Um, so we're in Sports Plus here, as you can see. Um, so let's put it into Sports Plus to start the engine. What we have down here, before I start the engine, you got your dynamic select button here. So you want to change your, your engine mode, so you can do that down here. You've got your manual mode. Sorry about that. <laughs> That's our new friend that we just made in the Ferrari. That's our new friend. He was meant to come and do shopping, but he spent like an hour talking to us, giving us advice, isn't it? So he's, the shop's now closed. Again, sorry for that. So sorry for that, but thanks for your time. Um, back to this. Dynamic select, you've got your manual mode, this is your suspension, um, traction control, volume, exhaust button, which is the most important. Um, uh, auto start, stop, and then your seatbelt button. So yeah, let's just start this up so you don't can hear. Now it's crazy because you've not just heard that Rari and this don't sound nothing like that. The whole floor vibrated when that Rari came on. But still. It's not no Ferrari. That was a 3.9 litre V8 turbo, twin turbo. This is a 4, 3 litre V6 bi turbo. But still. You lot have seen the car. You lot have seen what me and Taylor are trying to do with the channel. You lot have seen what we're trying to, you know, build and grow. Um, this video was literally just a walk around the car. That's it. You ain't getting no first drive in this video. That's going to be more content for you lot because I've got to get my views up. Um, so make sure you lot like. Make sure you lot subscribe. Um, there's going to be more content. Peace out.